Now we had previously touched on this within some of our older videos and it was one of the many stills in some of the word pictures presentation and y'all all are familiar with this I no doubt probably ad nauseum but this is what's on the back of the dollar the whole so-called new world order so we ask how can it be new now since this is back in what 1776 so how are they trying to still do a new world order or are they trying to do a new new world order you understand? This is a zeitgeist, zeitgeist. Anyway, this particular eye that's been so talked about on the back of the dollar has a very interesting correspondence in scripture in one of the prophetical books. And what's interesting is that most ones and ones who talk about this eye never get to find this out, perhaps because they're not looking in the Hebrew and that looking below the text, particularly the King James. Now, we have this document we've been working on, the Illuminati I, and the mistranslations of the prophecy of Zechariah 5 and 6. Now, Macy, Joe Macy, has some interesting things to say about this in his works as well. But first things first, let's take you to this particular verse right here that we have highlighted. This is uh, Zephaniah, um, Zechariah, my bad, Zechariah chapter, chapter 5, and this is verse 6 right here. Now, this is the Amharic, the royal Amharic from the Metaph Caduce. And now here is the English, and it says, And I said, What is it? And he said, this is an ephah that goeth forth. He said, moreover, this is their, notice this word, resemblance. This is their resemblance through all the earth. And I tell you that this right here is their resemblance. This, this eye, this so-called Illuminati eye, is their resemblance through all all of the earth. You want the proof? Okay, here's the proof. Let's go back to IOTA, our IOTA, IOTA, IOTA program, right? And let's click on this right here. This is going to take us to the open English with Hebrew dictionary. You see it right there? Okay. So we click on that, give it a moment, and here we go. Here's them hard, Timbete, Zacharias. And here's the King James Version, KJV, Zechariah 5, verse 6. Now let's go to the word resemblance, right? It says, he said, moreover, this is their resemblance through all the earth. This is their resemblance. Let's look at the word resemblance. So right here, here's the King James version with strong numbers so we see next to this is their resemblance so that's the 5869 or the h 5869 the hebrew 5869 so when we click on it over here in the strong's hebrew slash greek dictionary momentarily this should pop up excuse me the machine's a little bit got a lot of programs running but this should pop up momentarily. So this is how you do. You look look up these words, right? Look up these words. When you look up the 5869, see, they know we're on to them, so it's moving a little bit slow. You're going to find something very interesting if this ever opens up. Let's shake this around. While that does that, let us just take you on a little tour of the eye. While that opens up. Now, these are some of the symbols you probably know right here. Here's eyes wide shut. Here's the baboon eye, the eye of thought, and the solar eye. That's our document right there. Then you got this. You got the blue eye right there, so-called blue eye. This is the blue eye devil, right? Then you have some other pictures here, all on the eye of Ra. That's probably how some of you might know the eye of Ra. These are the two eyes of Horus. 
you know, and you go down and you see the CBS. CBS has that eye, so you can see all the BS and know who's showing you all the BS. This is something we use in one of our presentations. This is the eye linked with the Horus brain eye. Now that should have opened. It did open. Here we go right here. Okay, here's the 5869. You see that word? That word is oin, 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 or ayin, oin. Oin is the Hebrew, Ethiopic, and Shemitic word for the eye. Let's read what it says. It says, probably a primitive word. Probably. Of course it's a primitive word. It says, an eye, literally or figuratively, by analogy, a fountain, as the eye of the landscape. It also means affliction. You get, you're getting that right there, affliction. Outward appearance, plus before, it says plus, think best. Think best. It means color. It means conceit. You notice all of this in this verse, but it's hidden now, or it's been mistranslated in the King James where it says over here, it says, and I said, what is it? And he said, this is an ephah, or an ephah, a Hebraic dry measure, that goeth forth. He said, moreover, this is their resemblance. Notice that's 5869 through all the earth, through all the earth. And then when we look up, the 5869, you can look up the same in the Strong's Hebrew Concordance. Look up the H, the Hebrew 5869, and you'll find this word, oin. And they said oin is probably, but it is, a primitive word. And I, literally or figuratively, by analogy, a fountain, parenthesis, open parenthesis, as the eye of the landscape, close parenthesis, colon, affliction. This I also means affliction, outward appearance, plus before it says, plus think best, color, conceit. You see that? Conceit. Be contented. Countenance. Let us scroll this down right here. Countenance. And we're just going through all that's right here. Displeased. It says I. Then it has I, eyebrow, eyebrow, sight, face, plus favor, fountain, furrow, from the margin, X him, plus humble. It says knowledge. It says look well, X me, open, and in, in parentheses, lie or lee openly. It says not please, presence, plus regard. Then notice where resemblance comes in. We had to go through all these words. Let's just scroll back up. We had to go through all these words. The base meaning is an I. The base meaning is an I. And I submit to you that this is that I, which prophecy Zechariah chapter 5, verse 6 is speaking about. This is their resemblance. This is their resemblance through all the earth. And it's right here. There's a deeper meaning to this, but let's first touch on the basic meaning and let's read the scripture as it was intended. So we find down here is the word resemblance. I don't know how many words this is, but this is more than 10 words. It says sight X plus V, X plus them, X them, X V. Huh. Fill in the blank. Think X us. It says well plus X U, X U. This word sounds like, you know, sounds like there's some profane profanity idea associated. Now, this is word is found throughout the Bible in other verses, and it's translated directly as an I. So let's reread this portion of Scripture now in context with the Strong's Hebrew or the right word. It says, and he said, what is it? And he said, and I said, what is it? And I said, what is it? And he said, this is an eth or ephah that goeth forth. He said, moreover, this is their resemblance. 
through all the earth. Through all the earth. Now, remember I said that Macy has something interesting to say about this word as well. But let's just pause for the cause for a moment and demonstrate that in the Bible, even though it's been hidden in the King James Bible and you really have to study, as it says, study and show yourself approved, because when you study and you look up this particular word here, you'll find that resemblance is not the first or the logical meaning or logical word that should have been translated here. It should have said that he said, moreover, this is their eye. This is their eye through all the earth. And this is their eye through all the earth. So how new is new.